Welcome, welcome to this video. Thank you so much for stopping by. Don't click next because I want to share with you about the worst monster into the filmmaking life that's called your lack of confidence. First of all, this career as a filmmaker is a career that everybody is watching you. For example, if you decide to be a lawyer or a salesman or an IT person that you write codes, right? You might have your boss or people inside of your teamwork watching your work, but not like everybody, like your mom watching you, right? In filmmaking, everyone is watching you, everybody is watching your progress. If you're posting your videos, I, and I don't believe you're keeping your videos for yourself, because if you're succeeding on this career, you definitely have your videos out on social media and things like that. But my point is, uh, the more you grow into filmmaking, more people you see and the people around you will be aware of your growth as you go, right? And that can be also very, very uncomfortable emotionally. And I do get you. Because recently I just realized that this filmmaking career is a confidence game. It's such a pain as dealing with the confidence game and it can be very heavy into a few people and a few artists that whenever you are dealing with the technical skills and you're trying to figure out camera and video editing you also need to deal with yourself with your own feelings and your feelings to others is the whole artist complex and it can be very heavy into filmmakers and I will share a story with you oh and before I forget this video is also those videos that you can turn the camera off and take it as a podcast I just want to kind of chit chat with you here in my living room so I hope you enjoy and you grab a seat and come with me so yeah my story is gonna be about my wife yes I'm married to a woman let's take this out of the way I'm married to a woman and she's starting a life as a filmmaker here in Toronto I actually came to Toronto because she want to go to the film school and become a filmmaker as well and I was kind of watching her growth from outside in the same way that I also lived those sort of things of I also went to the film school and I was trying to deal with all the emotions related to a film school and that can be very intense and very heavy if you've been to a film school you're gonna understand there there's a lot of a ego game going around that and that's just a small picture of the whole picture of the industry right what I realized being around her growth as a beginner filmmaker is that her skills and her technical abilities were getting better and better and sharp so her skills were kind of here but her confidence was very low and because her confidence was low, that kind of blocked her into find a lot of good opportunities into the filmmaking life. Because her confidence felt like her skills were like super, super in the bottom or uh, she had a skills that wasn't even worth it to be seen, to be out. She started to feel like she wasn't a good artist like she wasn't good enough and that's a normal feeling because even me in the level that i am right now that i have let's say seven years of experience being a filmmaker i sometimes feel like that as well i feel like i'm not good enough i see other artists and i compare myself and i level me down and put this person up and the worst problem is or filmmaking field is all about the confidence you have not only the real confidence that is inside of yourself but there's a lot of pretending confidence going around whenever you face someone that has very well built pretended confidence it sucks so hard because this person can make you feel like you're nothing right so i'm pretty sure you've been into the situation let's say you know someone this person gets the best jobs and is out there getting a lot of gigs but you know that the technical skills of that person it might not be as sharp as everything that you're seeing out there but in the same way sometimes you are very 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 good in what you do but you're not able to achieve as much and the only difference between you and that person is the confidence and the way that person presents, is the network, is the context of that person as well. There's a lot of things to put in a balance, of course, but if you were able to train your confidence, even when you don't really, really, really believe that you're capable to kind of put it out in a way that you almost like a confidence faking, that can kind of help you out to go out there. 
For example, when I first started this YouTube channel, I had no confidence on my English. I wasn't comfortable to talk with the camera. I was super, super scared and I really want that. I don't know why I really want it, but I, that moved me to do it, even though I wasn't feeling like I was ready. But because I did and because I kind of faked the confidence, faking until I made to reach that confidence, I was able to just come and talk with the camera and be able to open this channel and talk with you guys, right? But if I didn't push myself into forcing a confidence that I didn't have just so I could move and do it, that would be I struggle until now. And then because I pushed myself to do it, I went and I saw that I was able to do it. And because I saw that I was able, I believe in myself. And then my confidence started to grow slowly and surely. And my advice for you right now is if you're in a situation where you know how to use a camera and you know how to edit a video and you really, 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 really want to be a filmmaker, but you're not finding jobs, you're not finding the opportunities, you're not being able to reach the the things that you want to do you're not able to work in the works that you want to do i would say work into your confidence look into yourself and see where you're seeing a lack of confidence maybe in a conversation that you had with a person that would give you an opportunity but you were too shy to show what you know maybe in that moment where you made a great video but you kept in your hard drive instead of putting out there maybe in the moment where you were trying to build up a demo reel and realize you didn't have good stuff so you just said okay i'm not gonna do it or maybe in the moment where you saw a conversation about people that has a really nice tone and high skill techniques vocabulary and you felt like whoa i'm, I'm not even able to talk with them i'm not even able to collaborate into this conversation and Push yourself, even with a lack of confidence, to kind of fake it and force it until you are able to embrace that confidence and the action that you do will build you up slowly so you can reach the confidence that you need. The more you do, the more you practice, the better you get, even in talking with a camera or talking with an employer and doing an interview or maybe posting videos and showing your work the more you slowly do the more easy that's gonna get and the more the feeling that's blocking you and heavy and kind of pushing you away will slowly dissolve so i just want to say that because i'm super happy and talking about my wife she was able recently to get a job into filmmaking and she's getting the camera and going there recording by herself she's editing the videos and i slowly saw how in the first day of work she was very nervous she was having butterfly in the stomach she was feeling like oh i'm not gonna do it i'm not gonna be able it's gonna be too much i'm not worth nothing i don't know this shit. i don't know what i'm doing what i'm going there and then i just look and said i believe in you you were able to do that and that's what i want to share with you today if you're gonna do a first shoot or you're going to your next gig and you're super nervous and you're feeling like you're not worth it to be there, I just wanna say I do believe in you and I really, really trust you can do it. And if you wanna share here in the comments a situation or something you've been through that was related to how your confidence was playing with your head in the moment, I would love to hear your stories. I'm very grateful for your presence here. So don't forget to subscribe. See ya.